How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your fur style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Commando. Cyfreak. Cyfreak chosen. Good choice. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a cross, but for you, it's not only a cross. Let me introduce myself. Seems more like you're being lightheaded, if you ask me, but you'll come around. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature, and here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Guess left can be right, sometimes. Stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger.
run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. So much damage.
hurt bad. Emergency box from the once was a rare sight. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi organs that they share under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed including you. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind.
Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Miami. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize there have been rumors of a one-eyed ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Mpa, wherefore, where we? The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The what? The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. 
the water. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village. Loma Utonu Ma Yungo. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. <laughs> the potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> You... <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He... You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> you need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting... Uh, 
<laughs> From this day on, he'll make nurturing. <laughs> One day, the land. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred His friend Gizmo is working on a mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Tolidrea ya Maoloa. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. Mau -mau -ya. He wants you to understand. Regard. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. It's in your grasp. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. Let's see.
must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there was. He doesn't. Anyway, he needs help, and he's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Ah, that's a spark of light in What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understand. Regardless of who you choose, it will. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagney's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> Thank you. 
they've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tri-war began. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Let's see. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. So, says you covered the important things already. Says they're cautious of non-allies. Thinks you should just put one paw ahead of the other and make your way up there. The tribe is always open to a new face. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for age. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on un... Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to be... Says there is some darkness in the best of us, even you, and suggests... He wasn't sure you'd... The sea... Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. No, no. Even if you see the world differently, you must hit them. No, no. Tells you not to be afraid. Once you've... Seeing you brings... He remembers... Anyway...
The gatekeeper welcomes you back to the fort. Seems surprised you have to go. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. 
He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And he'll be honoured. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. The dedication to training is important. You can't rely solely on the fact that Wang Fu is in your blood. You should know, practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start.
You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to cry. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you, that you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. Popolo. They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can. The most important thing is that it's time. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? But you're an alone. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He wishes that was true for your Moomer too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. Amanka. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics.
a dodge. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Kanamunta wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. Kanamunta. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see. Says it's not a record keeper, more like a companion. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been... She's so happy you made the most... Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <sighs> Nothing could stop Luka Lupin from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your move, Whatever happens, you need. 
Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose.
They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of Jagni warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidut Out. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. That you chose to ally with Jagni is a sign of strength in itself, and you'll only make them stronger. Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut, and our world still bears the marks of the massive ecological catastrophes they inflicted upon the land. The apocalypse they caused was the end of days for their world, but for us, it was simply a beginning. An emergency box from the old days, when you... Wow, bet that knuck makes a tight fist. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? It's time to create your own path. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Toxanol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. 
Just hope it's not buried. It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones love this sort of place. That's a myriad tribe outpost. There's still time before the door. Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. The Vespidut Outpost. Long time home of the Myriad tribe. Says you need to hit them where it hurts, inflict as much suffering as possible, and make it clear your tribe is a terror to their existence. Murder and mayhem and other terrible things happen. He's sure you've seen it before. Here's the first line of defense.
That's a bomb lobber. Back in the spot, wrecked it. Give those twirly wheels a turn. That wasn't the right way. Yes, the river tubs going down the drain. That cage is holding a helper.
says they've been treated fair, but is glad to see you. Hopes you'll treat the rivals with the same respect they treated them. Grateful that you're willing to move past this like them. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. Better stay clear of the Red Ray. Here's the second line of defense. Danger. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Kaboom! You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger.
Elam that's nitty. Says you did a great job catching. Says you're lucky to have the honor. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up. Alu, alu, hero. He had a feeling you. Mau, mau, yeah. Your positive outlook on life might be just what the Jagni tribe. Kim Hobe, Bekuku, Hifar, Muk. But out of. That's the sound of impending doom. Out of date's premonitions of imminent disaster are true. The Porky Puff needs to be handled. He says the time has come to confront the Porky Puff at the end of the East Route. Goop is work. You should get. There's no time to waste. Luatolo Maua understands you have things to do. Planet keeps spinning, and new days keep coming. Feels good to know you met the old one. He knows more about nature and how to fix it than anyone. Seems surprised. Take this seriously, or it'll take you down. Let's see. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He can't tell you much as he didn't want to hear anything about it. 
He can't understand how someone could be so vicious, even though he knows there are reasons behind it. He understands you've returned to him. He says that now the time has come for you to... He thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to! Vatiri <laughs> figures the world is a goner. Even the Vatiri thanks you for doing everything you could to degoop the surf. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend... But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. Out of date told him the under. Stories only survive if someone is listening, so pay attention. Climbing's good. Take a good look around you.
Hard to tell how deep down you are. You'd think this place would be crawling with worms. You already miss the sky, don't you? You make this look simple.
becoming terminal. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was, as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. Everything is at stake. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. He's got the goo glide functional. You'll have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. There are lots of valuables left behind on the surf floor that the salvage net will enable you to haul. You just need to find the right spots. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surf Epelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. He only knows what's visible to the naked eye. Gulp is not much of a babbler and mostly keeps to himself and his drink.
Get things done before the darkness falls again. Welcome to the Surfipelago, where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. You're poking around Pokber, a prime village. This here is the Sinky Dink, home of Gulp, at the very least. Yeah. Cautions you not to cause trouble. They like it quiet around here. Says you'll see each other later. I meet this very. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before. All the. Says it's both everything you could want and never enough. I meet this very Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst. Yeah. Wonders if you could take the time. <laughs> Either way, he hopes you've... <laughs> Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. <laughs> sure, but that's nowhere near as quick and easy. Who wants to stop to chew? What? Says you should toast the end of the world, but you'd better hurry. It's coming soon. Respects how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Thinks it's funny you wound up with the Jagni. They drink so little, like birds. Guesses someone has to be, but he can't swallow the sight of it. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came without a drink, and the drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts up. It makes most dumber, but that's his special burden to bear. He wants you to know he has other interests too. He's the Surfipelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times. And, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. Says he read that in an old world book. It means you're an expert of all living things that flap and tweet. Heard you were a somber kid and is glad you crawled out of your shell to help. Understands you have things to do. Let's see. Keep your head in the game.
The Quack Hollow. It's just lonely. Back on your own two feet. If a story is it's about you, care for it. Nothing simple. It's locked. Oh, it's locked.
You're not dead yet. have a good eye for that stuff. You need to line up the switches so they match. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Zilch here.
There's no time to look back. Too busy moving on. Your feet feel like you're wearing squishy sponges. Thank you. 